Hi everyone, welcome back to another Sportfish Tackle video. And in today's short video, what we're going to be looking at, as you might be able to tell, are salmon lines, specifically salmon lines designed for early season cold weather fishing on medium to large size rivers. Now when water temperatures are low, air temperatures are low, and you're looking for those early running spring fish, it's crucial to get your fly swimming at the right depth and at the right speed. And that is where multiple density sinking lines come in. I've got some here from Guideline, Rio and Mackenzie, as well as some Rio tips that we're gonna have a look at. So without much further ado, let's have a look. Now, starting with Rio's offering, I'm a huge fan of these lines. I've been using them for a few seasons and this is the latest in their range. This is the InTouch Scandi 3D triple density line. That's what the 3D stands for. Now, if you're not already familiar with Scandi, what is a Scandi? They've been getting more and more popular uh, over recent years on medium to large size rivers. Think of it as a shooting head, but not as aggressive as something like a Skagit. A Scandi is a shooting head, but it's gonna have more of a progressive taper. Great casting lines. Now, these lines that I have here from Rio are all built on their super popular Connect Core, and that is the core of the fly line itself. It's built with very, very low stretch. And I've been a fan of this for, for many years now, and I'm slowly transferring all my lines over to uh, a low stretch uh, from the running line right through to the head as well. So what that means is you're gonna get the best take detection uh, as your lines swing through the river. Now, the InTouch Scandi 3D comes in three different densities. You've got a float hover intermediate, a hover intermediate sink three, and an intermediate sink three, sink five. What that means is depending on which line you're using, you're getting a graduated sink rate through the line and whichever one you choose will be dictated by the depth that you want to fish at, possibly the water temperature, but also the speed of the current. Remember that a heavier line is gonna swing slower through the current. So with one in each range, you're covered for all eventualities. They do them from a 7-8 weight all the way up to a 10-11. So have a look on our website and choose the right one for you. Nice thing about these is that you can also pair them up with Rio's Versi leaders. And this is the complete kit which I'm holding here, which you can uh, get a hold of or you can buy them individually. These are the 10 foot tips and they range from a float all the way down to a sink 7. And they're very useful as well, just for fine tuning your presentation. So let's say we're using the hover intermediate sink three line. As long as you're using a tip that is sink three or heavier, you're still gonna get that graduated swing through the water. The one that ends in a sink five, put a sink six or seven on it. And then the uh, float hover intermediate, you can then fine tune it with a heavier tip as well. I'm a big fan of these lines and uh, have a look at them on our website if you'd like to find out a bit more about them. Now, the second brand that I'm gonna take a look at is Guideline. And this is the latest version of their Power Taper 3D Plus shooting head. Again, built on that Scandi style uh, line profile. Now, again, I've been using these lines for a couple of seasons as well. These are the latest versions and just like the Rios, they're a beautiful casting line. Now, as you might expect from a Scandinavian brand, Having been designed on fast flowing rivers in the likes of Norway with big fish that hold in very fast pockets of water, this range will give you a lot of different density options. I've only got a small selection of them here, but the range encompasses everything from a float hover intermediate right down to a sink three, sink five, sink eight, and a lot of different options in between. So great range to choose from. When you're picking one, think about the flow rate in your river Think about the water temperature at the time. Think about the depth of the pool as well and, uh, and choose the one that best suits you. Now, these lines are also built on a very, very low stretch core. Uh, in the case of this one, using guidelines direct contact core, which only stretches by about 6%. So again, you're getting excellent take detection when you're fishing at range. Available in a 7.8 and an 8.9, which are built on a 32 pound core. And then the 910 and the 1011 models built on a very strong 42 pound core. So great for that destination fishing abroad where you're possibly fishing in Russia or Norway for very, very large salmon. 
uh, you've got a little bit of extra strength there. Now, not to be outdone, the good folk at McKenzie have also got a multiple density line system. Again, on that sort of shooting head, Scandi style taper and a very, very low stretch core again for tape detection. Now, this is the G3 Phase Density 5 line system from McKenzie. Now, this range of McKenzie lines also gives you a lot of options in terms of sync rate to choose from, from a float intermediate, but with a three stage density profile between the floating section and the intermediate section down to an intermediate sync six, again, with a three stage profile. Now, why are they called phase density five system? Well, that is because they're designed to complement McKenzie's own range of sync tips, which you can add onto the end. And those tips are themselves dual density. So if you pair one of the shooting heads with the tip, you have a five stage sinking line to get that fly swinging through the water at the right speed and the right depth. So there you have it, a quick overview of three of our brands, Rio, Guideline and McKenzie, and their various multiple density line systems, all built around that Scandi style profile line taper that we're all getting very, very used to and fond of these days. Great to fish with, but lovely to cast as well. Now, if you're thinking of trying out this system, if you haven't already, I definitely urge you to, if you're fishing, again, medium to large size rivers early in the season, and I'd recommend picking up a couple of them to get, give you different options. I usually carry with me three on a typical day early season, one that's gonna fish that high water zone, one in the middle and a deep one, gives you a few options. Now, if you want to find more about the specifications of each of these lines, head to our website at sportfish.co.uk and you'll be able to see the different options, different line weights and match them up to your rod and your style of fishing. Hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.